Take a look at this video from our director of photography, Scott Dolan. The Northern Lights, it's a phenomenon we don't see very often here in Central Ohio. And you in Central Ohio did not miss your opportunity to see them. Over 1,000 of you sent in your pictures to our thread on Facebook and over on our website, 10tv.com, pictures like this one. Now we're gonna scroll through here. Look how beautiful these are. You can see the pink, the green, the reflection of the light here. You guys did an amazing job capturing really how beautiful and rare it is to see this here. And here's from our station here. But wow, look at that. And it's not often, like we said, that you see something like this. Now, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the last time a solar storm was this severe was all the way back in 2005. Now, Madison, just how did this phenomenon happen? Yeah, like you said, they're very, very rare to see them this far south, and it takes a lot of energy to do so. So the northern lights are just caused by solar flares, which are just bursts of solar energy. And as that comes into our atmosphere, it interacts and it causes those beautiful flickering lights. So the stronger the solar flare, the stronger those lights are, and the further south you're able to see them. So normally we need to see about a K8 or K9 is how we measure it. Um, you need to see that to be able to see potential for those lights in areas like Ohio. We definitely saw that as we headed into the overnight hours. Now, tomorrow and into the overnight hours tonight and into early tomorrow morning. We're watching potential for maybe up to a K5, K6 that could give us some glimpses of the light, especially further north in Ohio and for northern states in the U.S., but not quite as high as what we were looking at yesterday. Now, if you are traveling north or you want to get to see these lights again, I'll be talking about some cloud cover. We got a chance to see it, I think.